Hey y'all, I recently talked with Daniel from Spec5 to showcase what they're doing within the mesh network world. Let's go check it out. What is Meshtastic? <laughs> All right, so uh, Meshtastic itself is an open source protocol for mesh data packet communication. So instead of like analog voice communication, right. like all you, all you ham radio guys are used to, uh, these radios send data packets. And in that data packet, it's text message, as well as radio telemetry, uh, mainly being GPS location, and then uh, the radio snatchers. So kind of like APRS. That's that's what a lot of people are comparing it to. I'm not a ham guy, so uh, I don't. I don't. We can change that. It's. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm studying for the test. All right. I'm studying for the test. Um, but uh, yeah. So very very similar to that. These run on the 915 megahertz spectrum on the ISM band. So it's licenseless, subscriptionless. Anyone can use it. Okay. So that's kind of the big difference. Big, big difference. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we sell a variety of, of radios that are turnkey for, uh, for mesh task users. Um, those that aren't interested in building the device themselves, learning how to, how, how, how to flash the firmware, all that. Uh, we, that's what we're, we're, uh, we're focusing on right now. Uh, so we've got a, a range of different devices, everything from, uh, you know, your stand, what I'll call a standard radio over, over there that, uh, that you're going to link to your phone, uh, using the Meshtastic app to send the messages from the phone through the, through the Meshtastic radio over Bluetooth and then out onto the 915 mesh that way. Uh, we also have kind of fully, uh, full, fully function devices. This is our Ranger, kind of looks like an, like an OG Blackberry. Uh, yeah. That you can do all the, all the messaging um in communications right on there you can also pre we also have an option to to, to preload that with maps um so that when that when the nodes are sharing their location data you can see all the other nodes uh available in your mesh on a map uh that function also works from the the app on the phone as well um so you have again both messaging and and and, and location sharing okay I was not aware that these. You, there's an app that they talk to. Yes, sir. That's really cool. Yes, sir. Yep. So again, it's not right. it's not mandatory um, to use the to use the app if your yeah. device has has a keyboard or a, or a touch screen. Right. Um, but for some of our other radios that are just uh, that just have like a, a screen for notifications, you will Bluetooth that to your phone. Phone can stay like an airplane mode, five G off, Wi Fi off, and you'll be able to text through the mesh network as well as share the GPS location data because the radio, the the lower radios themselves have a GPS on. Huh. Very cool. I'm now playing with a bunch of ideas in my head how to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's uh it's a very interesting technology like. That just just the fact that it's licenseless, that anyone can pick it up and grab it. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of these scenarios that we've seen over the past couple of years where natural disaster happens, yeah. cell service goes down. Merge communications. So, uh, like backup communications. Yeah. Like towns can, everyone can, can have one. You know, they're relatively inexpensive. And, and, and because it's mesh, every radio that you add increases the resilience of the mesh and then I'm thinking, they create their own network so you, you right might, you might okay. not be able to communicate hundreds of miles away but a community of people can all communicate very easily now once 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 your mesh becomes very dense and you start getting a couple like higher higher uh, higher power devices like a, like like a repeater up here on, okay. a, on a cell tower, 
or or up on a up on a personal tower on, on a house, you can start really going going some distances. Uh, we've got a group out of North, North Texas that we've partnered with called called the Freedom Link Group. Um, okay, they have about a dozen of our of our relay devices up on cell towers, and uh, they've got one. The, the highest one is up at 600 feet, and they can see nodes 130 miles away. See, I live in North Texas, so that kind of helps me a little bit. Yeah. Huh. So, so there are there are a lot of groups that are start, starting to, you know, add this into their in, in, uh, into system the, in, in, into the various radio systems that they that they may maintain. And, and as as we see that that grow, uh, it will be very easy for you to hop onto a greater mesh, right, and, and communicate longer distances. Okay. So, what's the difference between th- those little guys and these guys and those guys? So, relatively speaking, all these radios really do the same thing. There's just different purposes and kind of kind of use cases. Okay. Um, so, our our most popular devices are the the Trekker line. Uh, so, we've got the the Trekker Bravo and the and the and the brand new Trekker Delta. We literally just released this 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 past week. And just started shipping them. Um, again, these devices do not have a keyboard. Uh, so on the screen, you'll just kind of get notifications. You'll know, have to Bluetooth this to your phone. To okay, actually so these would the be messages. the ones you send to your phone. Okay. Um, we have, you know, same thing with the Beacon. This is similar, kind of a little bit larger. Uh, handheld E type device. The, the best actually use case for this guy is the dashboard of your car. Uh, oh, it's got a little solar panel on it. Yeah, so it's got a little solar panel. The battery in it's going to give you like two to three days of life as it is. But okay. you, know, you add the solar panel, you stick it on your dashboard underneath the windshield, and um, you're probably going to get five plus days without having to, to plug that into. Yeah, act, active in use transmitting right. without having to, to, to plug that into power. That's um, cool. Then we've got the Ranger, which kind of looks like a uh, a old BlackBerry. Right. Um, so that guy, you can, uh, it's got a full, uh, it has a full color UI, so you can actually do all of the messaging function right here. Um, so you, you've got a list of all the nodes that this, that this device has seen. So you can actually see we've got, it's updating because there are other mesh tasking devices here. Right. Okay, cool. We also... Uh, you can have multiple channels. Multi- I don't. I, we haven't actually used this one, um, but you bet you can. It, you, you have a full texting app. So whether it's uh, Hello. single user to user, private communications, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> private group chats, and then also yeah. you can communicate openly yeah. on the open yeah. channels. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. I have a mess around. Um, no, no. Cool. Oh, no. All right. Oh, well, they well they thanks again. Appreciate it. Goodbye to the waves and the nights we spent. Oh, the blues in my heart play a sorrowful tune in Belton, Texas, neath the bright fleeting moon.